Hello, I'm Rich Dean with West Coast Collector Cars in Oregon, and today I have an exceptional 1967 Mustang convertible to show you. Now, this car has been restored completely and with some modifications that really bring it into, you know, uh, a car that we would enjoy to drive today. Uh, it just, it's got some really nice features. I'm going to take you around, show you those features. Or, hope to hit all of them, but I, I probably won't. There's just so many little nuances to this car, uh, but it, it's really great. I think you'll love it. At any rate, uh, finished in this graphite gray, and it is a base coat, clear coat paint, and I always like to try to show the depth here. You can kind of see it, and for a silver or gray paint job, it's got really nice gloss. A lot of times with a silver paint, you don't, and there's a nice metallic in it too that because of the cloudiness, you really can't see it today, but uh, you know, uh, it really does. It has a really nice metallic uh, to it. And then this is a billet aluminum antenna for the stereo. The Mustang emblems are, uh, you know, removed here just to kind of give it a little cleaner look. But your lower, they kept the lower rocker moldings here. Now, take a look at this, these smooth door handles. You don't see this other than in high-end builds like this, typically. And so what you do here is just push this handle right here and pull it open. You can see how everything was replaced, all of the weather stripping, all of the whiskers. This car does have power windows and power door locks. Nice door panel, very subtle. It's got some really nice styling cues that really enhance the car. Nice and clean in here, the chrome striker plate. These rocker moldings with the running horse. Now this actually, I don't know if you can tell or not, but that, that's lit. So at night you'll really see that blue. Seats are out of a 2006 Mustang, and they finished them in these, this nice graphite leather as well. And very comfortable, they fit the car nicely. The dash, everything is new. The console is custom. Uh, that is a Tremec 5-speed with a Hurst shifter. Works great, clutch is nice and easy. Everything is new, this build has uh, you know, 1,600 and some miles on it, so, you know, it's just got enough to where it's been all nicely sorted out, and uh, it really does drive nicely, particularly for a convertible. Now, convertibles of this vintage and older, you know, you got a lot of body flex, you know, because the, the top isn't there uh, to, to help give it rigidity, but I gotta tell you, I've driven a lot of convertibles, and this one is nice and tight, drives very nice. Shut lines are nice, nice even gaps. That's also uh, a little unusual for a convertible because of all that body flex that I talked about. Now, it does have a nice black canvas power top. And I took pictures for the website and just left the top down, so I thought this would be a good opportunity. I can show you the interior a little better. But rest assured, this is a new top, like everything else, glass, folding glass, rear window. And uh, again, power, looks nice, fits the car very nicely. Wheels and tires, um, you know, these are BF Goodrich uh, TAs, uh, the nice tires, of course, brand new. And these wheels are also off of a 2006, they're 16s. I mentioned the website earlier, westcoastcollectorcars.com, where, uh, of course, I have pictures of the car, both with the top up and the top down and all of its features, or most all, but also, uh, just so you know, I've taken pictures of the undercarriage so that you could see just how clean and how nice this car is. This is a very nice, very nice build. It's got some very quality componentry put into it, so yeah, this is a fun car, and it's a car that will win at a car show, and it's a car you can drive anywhere you want. Back here, got a nice combination of some updated things and as well as some nice GT equipment cues. For example, 
this was an option, this back panel on the GT for 1967. And this is a GT gas cap, or what they call the pop-open gas cap. See how nice and new and clean that is? It snaps like that. Uh, the license plate frame has these, I don't know if you can see them, but these LEDs. And that, those are reverse lights. So yeah, the car does have reverse lights. Got the nice cutouts here in the rear valance for those big pipes. Uh, those are stainless tips. And the tail lights are not only LED, but they're sequential. Take in the trunk. Nothing to write home about in here, but just so you know, nice and clean in here. Your trenches are nice and clean. Weather stripping, new and pliable. Trunk's been finished off in this sort of carpeted. And then these are struts here for the trunk. So they're, they make it nice to open and close the trunk. You'll notice that the trunk, just easy to close, very nice. Gaps are nice. Nice stainless all along the car where stainless is used. This boot was specially made too, uh, you know, for the top, and it's very nice, easy to install. Some of these uh, boots are difficult, but this is very easy. This was 1967, you may already know that, but see, the beauty of this car is they didn't modify the body, which is nice, you know, they didn't do anything, you know, body, you know, flares or, or anything of that nature, or mold in a rear spoiler or anything. So the body is a clean 1967 convertible. Take you in here on this side. Once again, you just push here and pull that little lever open. Everything's new, even your door strikers and so forth. Now that, this is a 1967 Mustang instrument bezel, but the instruments are aftermarket and they're new. So these antique white uh, face gauges are really easy to read. They're very noticeable. They look great on the car. All the trim and bright work in here is nice. You got a tilt steering column here with this wood grain wheel. Horn works. <laughs> uh, you got an updated stereo there, of course. Uh, your switches for your top and power door locks, although you've got a, a key fob here that uh, operates uh, your lock, so you can, you know, just like a newer car. Don't have to slam the door. They work great. Power four-wheel disc brakes with slotted rotors. This was uh, an extra cost option for 1967 as well, and that's the turn signal hood. So when you put your turn signals on, you'll see it here from the driver's position. Now this engine is a 302, completely rebuilt, aluminum heads, uh, these nice finned Roush valve covers, matching air cleaner, that's a quick fuel uh, carburetor, which is essentially a Holley. Power steering. Now take a look at the bracketry here. All billeted aluminum, billeted aluminum pulleys, aluminum radiator with a thermostatically controlled fan. This is a uh, remote oil filter assembly, so your oil filter is out here rather than on the block. Look at these billet tower caps here for your shocks. All of this would have been, you know, your export brace or whatever here, but these have cha been changed out to these billet rods. And look at the fasteners here that they used. Everything is just top notch. And then uh, you've got these uh, hinges here with the little shocks on them. Now 
That's a Petronix uh, flamethrower distributor there. So electronic ignition. All clean and nice up under the hood. Everything's new, nicely wrapped. All new wiring, of course. Uh, American Auto Wire, which has the newer style fuses that push in. You know, not the old glass fuses like it originally came with, but the new fuses, you know. So you're not gonna have any electrical issues with this. This was a GT uh, option for 1967. So they went ahead and, and uh, brought the fog lamp assembly in, this custom grill. And I kind of like this little opening here too. Kind of gives it, you know, a little bit more of a, kind of a racing grill. And then you've got a front lip spoiler. Very nice, look at that. That's rigid, that's, that's nice. All the chrome again, and bright work. Even these, you know, you got these nice little bumpers, you know, for your hood. Those are kind of nice. And the Monte Carlo bar. A lot of time and care took, was taken for this car uh, to be built the way it is. And it's just, again, it's a fun car to drive. It's easy to drive. You know, the engine runs great. I think it's three and a quarter, 345 horse. Again, Tremec uh, five-speed manual, easy to push, clutch. Um, the differential is a uh, Ford eight-inch rear end. Feels like highway gears, maybe 325s or so. And it's just, it, it's a nice combination. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get in the car and start it, and you'll hear it run. I mean, this thing's got a nice rumble to it, a little bit of a cami sound, of course, that we all like. I'll just drive around the parking lot a little bit just so you kind of get a sense of, you know, what it looks like moving under its own power. But, uh, you know, there's just a lot to see with this car. There's, it's one of those cars that every time you look at it, you find something else, you know. So uh, let's do that. got a nice sound to it again very easy to drive you know it's power steering and power front or power four-wheel disc brakes so you know you got that covered uh, just an excellent build everything works on it nice heater uh, you know the, it's got a, again a power top power windows I think I can show you that real quick and they're pretty quick Ford always has good power windows when you can get them, and these are fast. And all four work properly. Uh, windshield wipers work. I mean, it's, a, it's a, just an excellent build, an excellent car, excellent show car, excellent driving car. But if I can answer any further questions for you about this 67 convertible, don't hesitate to give me a call. Again, my name is Rich Dean, and this is West Coast Collector Cars. My number is 503 851 6763 and thank you for watching today.